All right, so I haven't streamed in like I think it's like I think October might have been the last time I streamed. Uh, so I, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Something's got to be broken because I was fucking around with my settings for. Let me unpause. Let me pause my thing on my screen because it's, it's distracting me. Um, it. Oh, and of course I can't see the chat on screen. Yeah, see, at least one thing is fucking broken. All right, cool. Cool. That's what I was expecting. I haven't streamed like six months because I was waiting to, uh, but it actually happened. So I've been streaming a lot before then, and then I kind of went away on tour, came back, and I had been trying to adjust to, uh, a dual streaming setup. My sponsor's meta PCs had sent me, uh, a second rig to stream with, because they already had a good PC. They had sent me a second rig and, um, a, a 3080 Ti for the main rig. Um, so I started setting up the, the dual streaming situation. It, they were helping me out to get, and I finally kind of like got it going good. But then I, I just never like got back into actually setting up for it. Expect more regular game streams. I feel like now that I kind of like back, I'm doing a stream of some sort. Oh, cool! No, the chat's working now. It just had to wait a little, wait a little bit. What I gotta do though, I gotta get that little like I don't know how they do it. When you ever, if you ever watch a uh, fucking um, I, I feel like I mostly see like fucking uh. Twitch streamers doing this shit, I mean, I, I, yeah, where they have, like, the fucking chat on the side, but they got, like, a little, like, black gradient, so it pops from the background more, I don't know how to do that, I've tried that in the past, it never looked right, but at least I can get you guys there on the side of it, yeah, thanks for showing up, guys, let me, um, I got a couple super chats in here, let me uh, read them before we move on, oh, right, there we go, we got, we got two from Sukeban Deka Lavi Thunder Saki, um, about Japan's mysterious song, Akiba Tape, I don't know if it's Akiba Tape or Akiba Tape, Fly Away. I'll look into it. I've been enjoying the, uh, the Lost Media Collections that I've been doing, too. I have, um, actually, so I, I had mentioned one of them on the Nickelodeon one, that I was, um, I was going to do uh, like a full video on one of them it's weird because like now that i've kind of sat down and looked into that particular story more i've realized Whoa. that there's kind of a um there's it's like enough for like a four or five minute video so i feel like maybe i can do that i could still like do that as another part of a lost media maybe like a lost pilots episode or something Whoa. thanks guys um we got Corey Jeffrey with the five. Thanks, Corey. Fujo, can't wait to see me in Fort Wayne. Yeah, my band's going on tour in Indiana soon. I'm, well, not go we're not going in tour in Indiana. We're touching Indiana on our tour. Um, God, if we did a tour of just Indiana, I'd fucking kill myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, it's the, if we imagine like a, just a whole month playing like every like, I don't know how big Indiana is, but like, it'd be like a fucking like you just mo drive one block and play another venue. But no, we're going to be out, be out with Vale Amaya, Board of Osiris, Hunt the Dinosaur, um, from May 13th to the end of May. There's a, there's a lot of confusion about that, actually, because there's, um, there's a leg of the tour before we jump on it on the 13th, but we jump on on the 13th, I believe that's the South Carolina show, and kind of go up and around, make our way back down to Texas for so what, and come back home. But yeah, I'll see you there, Fuzo. Tipster, thanks for the twenty. Well, nineteen ninety nine. I appreciate that, Tipster. We've been a uh, been a uh, we've been friends for a long time now, Tipster. One of my longest running YouTube friends at this point, probably. Yeah. J D Pennington, thanks for the five. I'm glad you appreciate what I do. Pierce Love, do I watch AEW? I I'm in and out of it. I watch it sometimes. I will say, like the MJF versus CM Punk feud is probably one of the uh one of the best wrestling feuds that i've seen in recent memory like that was every single fucking step of the way was a fucking perfect feud Woo! tim glenn congrats my thoughts on the red hot chili peps i'm not a hardcore chili peppers fan but they do have some things i really like and Other Side is one of my favorite karaoke songs. Not like, I don't love that song, but it's like, I'm a baritone when it comes to singing. 
And when it comes to songs I like, I don't have that many options of things that are easy for me to do, but Other Side is so fucking easy for me that it's like, if I need something safe to go to, Other Side is one of them. Bean Burrito, thanks for all the laughs. I appreciate that. Hanfi, you love Wangs. What's, what's CHF? You gave me two CHFs, I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, I appreciate it though. Slow Mo Panda, thanks for the tenor. Had to let you know your Numa Numa video made me dive in a bottomless rabbit hole of remixes and alt versions to that song and spent days watching. Have you seen the Will Just Dance? The Weed. Oh, wow. The Will. Nintendo Will. The We Just Dance version with the plane. So I remember the plane from the original music video, but I haven't seen the Just Dance version. But the plane is a part of the original. There's like this weird CG plane and the band there. They're like on the wing of the plane. I remember that. Yeah, Fuzo, thank you. Thanks again. There's only Indy, Fort Wayne, and Muncie. Or actually, I think Fort Wayne, I think my homegirl, it's like a sick tattoo artist out in Fort Wayne, too. Not that I'm going to have time to get anything from her, I don't think, there, but. Tommy Boyo, thanks for the five. Congrats on the subs. Been watching you for a few years now, and my videos are great. The jar haunts your dreams. Thanks. Glad you've been, me been with me for the long haul. Baydesu, how you been? Thanks for the 20. Steve Aoki, lol, congrats. Wang, hottest mustache on YouTube. I don't know, I've, there's some I've seen better, I think. I feel like, I feel like my mustache gets by, uh, by through lack of other mustache competition. If you had, like, real good mustache guys coming through, this wouldn't be so impressive anymore. Fox McCloud, thank you for the Mexican 20. And I will, alright, so... I will proceed with the unboxing. Anything past this, I will like check it. Let me just remember the Mexican 20 was the last one that I read. Anyway, I think I did a good enough did a good enough job of blacking out the uh, the address information and stuff. But here's how the box looks. There we go. You can see it now. Watch me get. Get a strike for... I got a, a deadly weapon. I, mean, I, I could totally like take over a plane with this, right? Box cutter. Performing surgery. Let me... Scoot over here. Something I realized, too. So... The last few streams, I was having problems with the video quality looking shitty. Like, the games would look fine. But my actual video would not look good. And what I realized is I was like, I was trying to do a 1440p stream because YouTube has a better, um, a better compression algorithm for streams at 1440. It's like a totally different algorithm at that point better. But the problem is my camera cannot output four, like it's pretty much it's 1080 or 4k resolution. But then if you output to 4K, you can't do 60 frames a second. So what I was doing was I was outputting at 1080p and stretching it to 1440 so it still looked like shit. So I might just have to uh, get a different camera for streaming. I don't know. That might... Oh. This is an extremely safe way to cut something, right? Just like across where my arm is. Holding up this like actually like kind of heavy thing. Oh, this has like a little like uh There we go. The Lost Monster Mania cartoon. No, but actually like that reminds me. So I guess like something I was going to do on the stream too is like talk a little bit about unfinished videos cuz I had that whole um note file of them. The uh one of the the one thing that I made a reference to on the Nickelodeon Lost Media video about it being like a, a possible um like a longer video than what would be merited by the little ones I do in the Your Lost Media episodes um was the or the Super Y pilots which was like originally it was like the the show that came out like years later um children's show it's a CG but the original version it's a lost pilot and it's like claymation and shit. And there's a lot of people looking for that one anyway. Open this box. Here's the foam. Alright, 
Ooh. I guess if you want to get a sense of the texture of the foam, this is what's <gasps> been protecting it in here. We got a little card in here. It says, you definitely not going to be able to read this. You'll be able to read it after I get my 4K set up for streaming. But you can't read this yet. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want to experience... I want your experience... I can't read anymore. Want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thank you, Rick. If your award was damaged during shipping, or if you have any questions, please contact us at youtubecreator at societyawards.com. And Society Awards has its own like, little little logo on there. Kind of looks like some uh, some LARP, like we're going to kill some dragons type things. And they got, they got the letter. The official letter. Woo! But they got like, this isn't any old paper. This is like, the paper's got like a texture to it. So if I, let me, if I hold it close enough, you can see the texture of it. Watch, now that I did this, you can't see the texture anyway. But now that I've done this, now that I've done this, watch the whole rest of the stream be out of focus. Anyway. Here is, and if you're sending in super chats, now I'll read them Whoa. after I'm done with this. Um, I'm not ignoring you. But anyway, without further ado, here's the letter. I, I promise not to cry. YouTube. If you took one step for each subscriber you have, do you know how far that would get you? For starters, over 13 times around the perimeter of Beijing, or 14 times around the Paris, or 15 times around New York? They're talking to us like we have any concept of geography here. Come on, I'm a fucking American. I don't know how big cities are. That's because... You now have over 1 million subscribers, but your influence stretches beyond that of a single city. Through your incredible creativity and dedication, you have built a dynamic community that stretches across continents and binds people together from all corners of the globe. They come together to be inspired by your unique voice and vision. It's, it's so funny to think that this is like, this is like an empire built on fucking shit and cum videos. And it's, they're talking about how, like, I fucking inspired the world with my voice and vision. I mean, I guess I do. Like, it's, like, I'll get people to be like, yo, like, your videos got me through this hard time. Which is, like, it's really cool when I hear shit like that. But then it's like, man, like, I, like, make the most stupid thing on the planet. <laughs> but it's cool that that, I mean, I get it. It's mostly, like, dumb shit that I appreciate, too. So. YouTube started with the idea of a platform where anybody can broadcast oneself. And that's how you know it's official because it didn't said because they said oneself. That's a that's a luxurious word. And you've done exactly that. No dreams are too big and no details Congrats too small. On the milestone, brother. Been when watching since the beginning. Love the oh, content. Oh, it's a text to speech. I forgot work. I had text to speech. P. S. Can you play as a riff on the guitar? Show the tattoos. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Kfree, for the fifty. Um, I can... Alright, so, like, the way my audio setup is... Um... I would need to, like... I don't have a separate amp. I plug direct to the computer, so I would have to play it unplugged until I get, like, a external sound card or something. Or when I start doing the dual streaming setup, I can do it then. Um, plugged in. To honor... Oh, wait, here we go. YouTube story with the idea of a platform where anyone can broadcast oneself. You've done exactly that. No dreams are too big, and no details too small when it comes to the care that you put in engaging your community. To honor your remarkable achievement, we are proud to present you with the Gold Creator Award. We hope that it will inspire you and remind you how much you mean to so many. We know that this milestone only begins to tell your story. You are part of a groundbreaking group of creators who are building the next generation of new media companies. Every day, you are reinventing how stories are created and shared, and we can't wait for the next chapter of your story. Yours sincerely, Susan Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube. Is this hand? It's not. It's print. I, for a second, it looked like it was like hand signed. I think. Imagine that would be enough of these get made that she would have to sit there and just be like, well, signing them all. But yeah, there we go. The um, 
the letter that they've sent. And he'll use the actual... The... This, like... Okay, so it's, like, in a box within the box. The box in the box. In the, I just, I just like Jilly in the chat. Sorry for tagging you in all my Instagram giveaways. What's funny is, so like a long time ago, I noticed like, cause like I do, I used to do this too when I would like enter all the Instagram giveaways. I would just tag like random fucking brands and like fucking like celebrities and shit I follow. And I noticed like people start doing that to me. I was just like, yo, everyone please tag me in your giveaways. I hope you win. And here we go. Now it's, it's unsheathed. It's out of its, uh, container. You can see in the reflection the mess that my desk is. Yo, every time I see, like, someone on stream, like, get close to the camera with something, I think of that fucking XQC clip. Where, what, what, it's just, like, a, he has, like, a Spongebob ice cream. He's like, Spongebob! Or something like that, right? He's like, it's Spongebob. That's what I always think now. Of a fucking person, like, putting something at the camera. But yeah, here we go. There it is. Now what I gotta do is, like, alright, so the next one of these, you know, we got, like, 10 million. The 10 million subscriber thing, that's the next one. Um, but then, you know, it's gonna be a while for that. So what I gotta do now, I gotta, I gotta build up Wang Uncut. The guitar channel, maybe I don't. I don't put enough. I don't post enough on the guitar channel to do anything with that. But I got to build all the all the uh, ancillary channels now, so I can just start collecting these things like Ultimo Dragon. You know, you've all seen that uh, that iconic picture of Ultimo Dragon. I think there's also one of Great Sasuke. I got both of those guys up in my like, little like mass collection there. But the, with you know where they just have like their collection of, like I think nine belts. So where yeah, I gotta I gotta get Wang on cut up to one hundred thousand. Gotta get Let's Play with Wang up to 100,000. Actually, I was actually thinking about this. Um, Let's Play with Wang. A lot of you guys probably have no idea what the fuck that channel is. But, it's, um, it is where I would just directly upload, up, up toad. What the? Up toad. <laughs> it's the place where I would up toad my fucking, uh, Twitch VODs. But then, like, so, like, I want my streams that I do on this channel to be discoverable, and I would, I would just have them be public on the channel, but I'm like, I don't know if that's such a good idea. So, and what I've been doing then is just, like, I've just been leaving them. And what, now that I'm going to be streaming more, though, what I think I'm going to do is, like, I'll leave them unlisted on this channel, but then re-upload them to that other channel. So, it's, like, it's still discoverable, but it's not discoverable. It's not, like, cluttering up this channel. I think that'll be the thing. That'll be how I handle it. And I could bring my... Start my Ultimo Dragon collection of fucking play buttons. There's also the foreign language channels too. Like I like, I some of you will have noticed I made a Spanish language channel, but I Whoa. fucked up with how I launched it because what I did is I um I advertised the Spanish language videos to my English speaking audience. Then what happens then in the algorithm? Like you have people who don't speak Spanish checking it out out of curiosity, but they don't speak Spanish, so they click away in like five seconds. So it kills it in the algorithm. The right way to have done that would have been to just not advertise it in any kind of way. Or if you're going to like promote it, promote it like on specifically Spanish websites or something. So I think I'm going to try it again, but with Portuguese and learn from that mistake. Anyway, let's go back to these super chats and uh, super chats and Streamlabs now. All right, where were we? Thank you guys for being here. How many people do we have in here now? I, didn't, I haven't checked. 440. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see, the 19 mechs go from Fox Cloud was the last one that I read. Squill, with five pounds through Super Chat. Whoa! Do I like Acid Bath? I've been addicted to their album as the kite string pops so much lately. Listen to it twice a day for a month now. I've... God, I listened to Acid Bath a very, very... Actually, you know what? I don't even think I ever listened to Acid Bath. Because, like, I realized I was thinking of that band Lords of Acid. Who I listened to, because I remember back in the day, there was this, um... This record store in the city, Generations. And I had picked... I just, like, looked at their album, because the art was really cool. The Lords of Acid. I, I But I tried them, and I wasn't really into it. But Acid Bath, I don't think I ever listened to. 
Andrew Joseph with the two pounds. Thank you. Love your max headroom videos. Please do more. Alright, so here's a funny thing that, um, I guess it's not really relevant anymore. I could talk about it. I mean, I could have talked about it whenever. It didn't matter. But at a certain point, I was working on, like, a TV pitch with one of my friends that would kind of, like, revisit some of the episodes I had done. Max Headroom being one of them. And, um... And, like, I think I think when we were working on it, we kind of had, like, a different vision for the show. Like, he was, like, wanted to be, like, more of, like, a talk show. Like, I think he was envisioning, like, an Unscrew with Martin Sargent type deal. But I was picturing, like, more of, like, uh, investigation discovery thing with dramatizations and whatnot. But, like, I don't really know how to write for TV well. So, like, it just kind of, like, I guess the project kind of fell to the wayside. And the station we were going to pitch it to, like, wound up being a shit show. So, I'm kind of you know, glad I'm not involved in that. <laughs> um, but it, it would... Maybe at some point it'll be f a fun thing to revisit. Um, let me see. Else we got the Shinobi One donated the ten through super chat. One of my top five creators. Good ish. Let's get a two million. Hell yeah! I hope we get there. I hope we get there. I noticed that, like a lot of people like once they pass that gap one million, it starts to go fucking parabolic. So, actually, like, yo, those shorts I've been doing are going nuts. That's what propelled me past the 1 million. Like, it was gonna be a while, but then those things popped off, and I got so many new subs from the shorts. Which is weird, because, like, the conventional wisdom is you don't want to mix the shorts with your regular content, or you don't want to make streams of that content either. But, uh... I feel like a lot of times when it comes to YouTube, the conventional wisdom is a cope from people who just tried shit and it didn't work. Wait, what happened? How did it... Alright, it said... Somehow, like, the viewers just doubled, like, instantly just now. It was probably just the numbers up there. Because it said 440. Now it's 10,000... It's 1,015. Well, if you actually did just double... Whoa. Hello to the... 600 or so people that just joined. Carla Cocaro. With the 2790 through Super Chat. Kisses from Brazil. Thanks, Carla. You know, I, it's weird. I've noticed that, like, um, I, this is probably why I'm going to try the Portuguese language channel next. I've noticed that most of, um, most of my viewers who aren't from, uh, primarily English-speaking countries are from Brazil. Like, that's, like, and it's always been like that for me. Even, like, on, like, every platform, even on, like, Instagram before I had a YouTube channel, I had more Brazilian followers than, like, it would be, like, United States, UK, Australia, and then Brazil. A blank donated two through Super Chat needs more crying. Yeah, I gotta gotta get better with the, those tears. I gotta like remember that TikTok trend where you have like had like women crying and then all of a sudden they just snapped out of it to like an evil face. But it was like they're all doing like really convincing crying. And I'm like, yo, yo, this is this is a dangerous thing for the world. Andrew Joseph, thanks for the two. Ric Flair approves. Damn Whoa. right he does. I don't know if he approves of you spelling his name wrong, but he approves of... I'm sure he approves of him being the face of my super chats. Angel H with the 10. Congratulations on a million followers. Whoa. Thanks for letting me annoy you on IG. Odd little piece. Oh, hey, what's up? My videos donated 5 through super chat. Way to go, Wang. Much love from Bush... Bo oh, Bush Dwelling Whoa. Queef. Hell yeah, thanks. D Quinn with the five euros through Super Chat. Congrats, Justin, you deserve it. This bad boy will look great on a shelf next to some poop jars. Yeah, I actually, so I have like a little setup. Maybe I'll show it one day. Whoa. I gotta clean up a little bit. But I do have like a little setup in, fr in the hallway in front of my door where I have like my silver play button out there. And like a bunch of my shoe collection. It's I gotta make it a little more aesthetic though before I show it off. DJ A Mika, the 999th Super Chat. Congrats on the 1 million. Love your videos. Thank you. Shanjack with the 5. Congrats, Wang. Discovered you from Chubby Emu. I think I saw Chubby Emu in here before, too. Um, actually, what's cool is like, ran into, like, Chubby Emu came out to uh, my tour and took some pictures. It was pretty cool. Um,. Something that was fun, actually, on the tour that I did, there were a few shows where YouTubers pulled through, like, 
And like, and so like, then people like would come to see me, but they would recognize like man more people. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? Like, the um the Pomona show, the Pomona show when like was like during the time that the makeshift VidCon was going on. So like everybody was out here, and like a bunch of people came through my show. Like Turkey Tom was there, and Mudahar was there. A, a fucking I think yeah, Wavy was there. Like a ton of people were there. So and like we were all chilling by the merch table, and like people would come over to see me, and they'd be like, wait, fucking Mudahar is here fucking wait and they're like losing their fucking minds it was awesome i think i like i think every time i saw mudahar in that trip though he was like stoned out of his i think i had like maybe like five two sentences of conversation with him that wasn't like uh that wasn't him like stoned out of his mind which i you know love that about mudahar <laughs> Like, a, like, he showed up to this rooftop party that we had on my on my tour manager's roof. And, like, I could see, like, the stoneness on him and that feeling of, like, what have I gotten myself into. Let's see. Uh, let me just make sure that um, I didn't, like, miss all the members joining up either. Viewer activity. Oh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Juan Sebastian, for becoming a member. The members, um, I think people don't know this either, but like something like when you become a member on the channel, you do get, um, as you do on the Patreon, the, um, the, uh, the early version, the, like the first version of, um, the videos, uh, before they're made public. Uh, let me, yeah, I don't think members pop up on the stream list. I don't want to miss anybody and like neglect to thank them. Um, but, 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 but who, where was I? Oh yeah, Cesar, Cesario Japan donated $10, and he made a poopy. I hope it was a good one. I hope it was one of those, you know, those, uh, the real, the real big fibrous ones that make you feel, feel like a new person. K Frey with the 50 ice, oh, it's, that was the one that got read out before. Thank you once again, K Frey. Black Frost with the 999. Favorite genres, favorite subgenres of metal. Also, congrats. Um, also Stingray, I see you in the chat. My eyes just happened to look at the chat there. Hi, Stingray. Carlo Kokaro, thanks for becoming a member. Um, favorite subgenres of metal? I mean, honestly, like, mostly, like, like, death metal and fucking, uh... Probably just, like, death metal metalcore is, like, most of what I actually listen to. Although, um, I'm kind of all over the place with it. I go through, like, moods. Like, last night, I've, I, I, I don't know how... You know what it was? Last night, I was listening to, like, The Misfits. Which obviously, I'm not saying Misfits is metal. I'm just saying, like, it's... I'm just kind of all over the place, whatever the fuck I listen to, like... But then it, it like, led me on a thing to, like, listening to fucking... I went up down on this, like, punk rabbit hole last night where I went up listening to Gigi Allen all night. And it's just like, what... How, how did I get here? Like, I've listened to, like, maybe, like, Gigi Allen, like, once before in my life. And then that became the fucking vibe last night. I don't know how or why that happened, but, I mean, that was... It, it, that was what I... I feel like any time I sit down and listen to music, it, I, I need to take a moment to, like, find the vibe I actually want. And for some reason, last night, I just wanted Gigi Allen. <laughs> I have no fucking idea where that came from. Brighton Guernsey with the 10. Thanks. Love the content, buddy. Well deserved. Thank you. The Upchucks, two through Super Chat. Ever heard of the Upchucks? I've heard of the Upchucks because you spam literally everybody's fucking posts on Twitter. With the upchucks. That's... So, yeah, I absolutely have heard of the upchucks. I've not looked at it, but I'm aware of your... Constant posting. Technicals. Oh, what's up, Tech? Thanks for the 20. Congrats on your success, Swang. Appreciate all the support you show to smaller creators. It means a lot. Honestly, like... This is gonna sound like such, like, a fucking, like... I don't even know how to fucking put it, but, like... Something that's, like, really exciting for me, especially because, like, when I... Because, like, now, like, at this point, you know, like, kind of, like, once you get past a certain hump of growth on your own channel, it kind of, like, the numbers, like, they go up, they still go up fast, but it's, like, a smaller percent of what you have. So you don't get that same excitement of, like, watching your numbers, like, fucking shoot up from, like, a thousand to ten thousand. Like, it's never, like, you don't get those, like, 10x explosions anymore. So, sometimes, like, when there's, like, smaller creators that I fuck with, I like to see, like, watch their channels and see how it's going for them. Like, actually, you know who's been really exciting for me to watch in that regard lately? My friend Brian Sal, the chef. I've done a couple collabs with him in the past. Um, 
Because, like, he's got this new series, um, Pro Chef Reacts. And, like, his sandwich series he was doing before, it was, like, he was doing, like... It was kind of, like, just, like, coasting there, but then he's, like, doing the Pro Chef React series. And his channel is exploding from that, and it fucking rules the sea, because he's been working on that for so long. And I've been, like, trying to, like, find ways I can help him and shit, but, like, that, that series is just the fucking hit. And it's cool, too, because, like, the way he does it, like, there's a lot of, like, chef reactions... And stuff, but, like, his are, like, really fucking educational. Because, like, when it comes to cooking, this dude is just, like, a, a wealth of knowledge. Like, he has experience in legitimate, um, like, high-end kitchens for, for fucking, I think, decades at this point. So, like, he knows his shit. And he explains in a way where it's, like, you as, like, a regular person cooking can actually, like, take knowledge from it and fucking cook better. I'm also stoked to see, his, he has his restaurant, his uh, Mission Sandwich is opening next month, I believe. Brooklyn. Slow-mo panda with the five. What advice can you give a YouTuber of 10 years who's not trying to be big, just be heard, can't even hit the first 1k subs, tried a few genres, mostly vlogs? Um, damn. It's 10 years and you're not breaking a thousand. Like, there's definitely like something. I, uh, thinking about it, like, I don't really know what your content is. But because you've tried a bunch of different genres and nothing seems to be hitting, I without have, without like looking right now, I would probably assume that your problem might be in the uh, the title and thumbnails. Like like you mentioned vlogs, what I see a lot of people do with vlogs is like they'll just be like, hey, uh, vlog number one, vlog number two, vlog number three, or they'll be like Miami vlog, New York vlog, <gasps> Tokyo vlog, whatever, and that's like titling like i don't know if you're doing that but like titling like that um titling like that is one of those things where it's like if people aren't already familiar with you they're not gonna have any idea what to expect from it so they're just not gonna click on it if you're doing whatever you're doing you need to find the way to break it down to to like figure out what the most interesting part of your video is and make that the title and then in your thumbnail, honestly, like all the stupid stereotypical tricks, uh, stereotypical tricks about YouTube thumbnails that people hate, um, they're they're just like they work. The fucking the stupid faces in the thumbnail, the blown out saturated Whoa. colors, like it's it's everything people fucking hate about YouTube thumbnails, but they fucking work. Then that's just like so, you know that's just like some baseline like superficial advice, having like not really like seen what your channel is about. Room tour. Oh yeah, and something else, slow mo panda. If you're trying to grow specifically on YouTube right now, like shorts are definitely like when you have a short, a short on YouTube hit the algorithm, that shit goes fucking parabolic. So like that's there's definitely like stars being made off of just making shorts on here. Like that is that is the next gold rush on this platform, 100%. Yeah, it's already begun. Squill donated two, two, uh, two pounds. Room tour. Thanks. Um, I have a room tour up on TikTok. It's, uh, maybe I should do it. It's been, like, probably, like, a year since I posted it. Although not much has changed since then. But, uh, it is in there. I don't want to, like, un unhook my camera because it's a whole thing. Oh, show I guess, like, it's been a while since I showed the gold. I just saw the thing, yeah. Uh, maybe I should just like stand with it like this as I read more of these just so you can uh, see it It's kind of heavy, but you know, I'm, I'm a strong guy It'll hold up for a while Mysterious midnight. Thanks for the ten tone pack bakor Tony had two dollars to super chat do an IRL channel called talking wang out in public as fun as that might be, I've thought about this before, I feel like when you start doing an IRL channel, that's when your fucking life just starts to fall apart. I've seen that be the beginning of the end for too many fucking people that I'm like, you know what? Maybe maybe it's not for me. But also another thing too that I try to be like cognizant of, it's like, when I... I, I even do this like as someone who like streams games some of the time, but I feel this kind of guilt if I don't, if I play a game without streaming it. Like, last night I was playing Elden Ring a little bit, and I was like, oh man, maybe I should stream Elden Ring. But I just wanted to play it and, like, not have to worry about 
uh, you know, be entertaining or fucking, you know, be on for people or just, like, just play the game without thinking about it. But then if, like, it's, like, if I start doing that in real life, then it's kind of, like, then it's, like, if I go somewhere, am I going to feel that same weird guilt? Because, like, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm out having fun with my friends, but I could be working right now, you know? I don't know if I want to cross that line. Setzers with the two. Congratulations. Thanks, bro. Jab 50 n with the five. I just want to hear the woo sound effect. You've... I hope you're enjoying that woo. Woo. I don't know. I, I don't know how I said the woo. Like, I said woo. woo. I said it all kind of... I was not comfortable with how I said woo. It made me think of those weird British accents in, um... In Siren. When they look, like, when they look for that girl, Tomoko. He's like, Tomoko. Tomoko. The Junjian Man 26 with the five. Looking forward to the day where you have enough content for a four-hour poop story comp. Yeah, I honestly, when I was putting that compilation together, I was kind of expecting it to be longer than it was. It would have been like, maybe like, could have got to like 210 if I added the video that I just put out the other day, but that didn't make much sense to me. Gabriel Lorenzetti <gasps> donated five through Super Chat. Congrats. Thank you. Paul Montaya with the two. Love watching your videos and streams. Thanks, Paula. The Geek Getaway. What's up, The Geek Getaway? Donated five through Super Chat. Congrats on one million subs. Took way too long. Glad I knew you before you are famous. Yeah, you've been around for like... You might have been around. I remember you like... I might have been at like 10k when you started like commenting and shit on my videos. I remember that. Toy Bounty Hunters. Two. Thanks for the two Toy Bounty Hunters. Congrats, bro. Well deserved. Keep up the good work. Toy Bounty Hunters actually just put out a, a Resident Evil 26th anniversary video. I didn't finish watching it, but it's it's on my uh, th like um, watch later's. Tara Allen donated four forty nine pounds. I'm fucking brain that I'm like looking through the symbols pounds. Thank you, Tara. Bro, congrats on one million. Feel proud of ya. Happy you're proud of me. Bowen Boswell. With the New Zealand Five. Hey man, been a sub since 2018. You're my favorite YouTuber, and I'm super proud of your milestone. Love from New Zealand. It's it's mad late over there, isn't it? Thanks, Bowen. Well, oh, the members do pop up in here. All right, Juan, thanks again for becoming a member. Carla with the 2790. Come to Brazil meme is a great video idea. <gasps> Maybe. That's like interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a little bit tired. Um, come to Brazil is weird because I feel like there is a moment in time when come to Brazil and come to Indonesia like there's like People forget about like the Indonesians being on that shit, too But it was like you had like the Brazilians being like oh come to Brazil But the Indonesians were always on that shit, too But then it eventually like the Brazilians just I guess defeated them and it became the Brazil meme and the the Indonesians uh, the come to Indonesia was forgotten about I remember actually you know what? My one baseline to remember that I'm not crazy and misremembering this, I remember Randy from Lamb of God going on a rant about come to Indonesia. Because they, they would get hit with come to Indonesia all the time. Let me see here. Where was I before? Oh, yeah. Uh, Brighton Guernsey again with a five. Another one. Thanks, bro. The TJR with the five. Thanks for being you, Justin. Love to you, Wang. Thanks, TJR. Impulse Productions with the five. Much love from Canada. Your videos are the best. And hope all is well with you and your family. Congrats on the one million. Thanks, Impulse Productions. Appreciate that. Alright, we got Carla, Kokaro, Jacob Fortner, and Mysterious Midnight became members. Thanks, you guys. Destructive Criticism donated five. Congrats, man. I noticed you listen to 80s Freestyle. What's my favorite freestyle gem? Yo, I fucking love 80s Freestyle. Actually, thinking about it, like, so, like, my band had just went and recorded a, um, uh, a few songs for the EP we're putting out. I wanted to do something that incorporated freestyle elements in it, but we didn't really get to do that in this one. But when it comes to, um, freestyle, like, like any, it's, I'm, like, hard... It's hard to, like, say which my favorite one is. 
Like, I really love, like, every fucking cover girl's hit. Uh, you know, you got fucking Show Me, um, Inside, Outside. Okay, now. <gasps> was oh, because of you that's another good one um fantasy girl by johnny o is weird like John, like johnny o his singing is so bad but it's good like he, he does not sound like a guy who should be a singer but it works for the song like he kind of like his vocals it kind of like he just kind of sounds like a, a, a guy talking slightly singly but it works for the song and then he has wait he has now i gotta look it up because i gotta fucking I got my fucking freestyle playlist over here somewhere. What's the song he has that's like the... The cameo? It's... It, oh yeah, it's like, it's Johnny O and Cynthia. And it's like Dream Boy and Dream Girl, right? That's the one? Yeah. Oh, Tell It To My Heart, of course. How could I fucking forget that one? Taylor Dane. Where was I here? Last one I wrote was about the freestyle art. Doinker Mahoinkner donated five. Thank you, Doinkner. Keith Stack donated five through Super Chat. Congratulations, both me and my dad are big fans. Thank you for the hours of entertainment. I appreciate that. If you're who I'm thinking of too, I think you're like your art is sick as fuck. If you're who I'm thinking of. Tikanjel donated five through Super Chat. Congrats, Wang. You're infamous online these days. How soon can we expect you to vor the button? Maybe if I could, like, you know, unhinge my jaw good enough. I'm sure it's like, you know, I've been counting my macros. It's like, what is, what's, it's like, uh, I don't know if, the, I don't know what the button is. I feel like it's probably like mostly like carbs, right? It's made out of metal. It's carbs. That would be carbs, right? I don't know. I might do a, like, a video on Vor in general. That like that was some I spoke about this a while ago, about doing uh. That's not, my arm got a little untired now. We hold it back up again. For the people just joining, they didn't get to see the button. Um, actually, this I I got like this might be like the uh the more durable way to hold. It. I got like the hacksaw Jim Duggan going on here. Um, doing like videos on weird paraphilias like vor and inflation and shit like that that might be a it might be a fun video just like not, maybe like not do them individually but just do it as one just like a look at like uh, the wack the wackiest paraphilias online because they're not necessarily like a regular tales from the internet episode where there's like a specific narrative thrust to it but you know this is enough where it's kind of like you could uh just do like an overview and like some highlights or something maybe i'll, I'll something something to think about <gasps> antonio lopez with the 999 one million is so damn cool i remember the first time you posted the channel link on facebook feels cool watching this grow from the beginning your shirt is the only youtube show, shirt i own congratulations man thanks antonio yeah i think i think i met antonio through like facebook wrestling groups back in the day yeah, I barely ever use Facebook anymore. I just, I can't stand that website anymore. But like back in the day, I, that's like where I first started posting this shit for sure. Bandicoot milk. Can you milk a bandicoot? Donated five dollars through super chat. M uh, milk bandicoots. Milk bandicoots. Milk band. I guess. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't. It's a mammal, right? You, yeah, you could definitely milk a bandicoot. MR donated four ninety nine. Thank you, Sarah B donated four ninety nine. Congrats on one million. Thank you, Sarah. Juan Sebastian Fajardo Fajardo donated ARS one hundred to super chat. I'm not sure what a ARS is that like Argentina maybe. I'm not sure. Justin, I've been trying to find the video in which you can't stop laughing at a reporter's face or nose. All right, so it was. I remember the one you're talking about. It was like the BuzzFeed reporter. He, I forgot. I think the but I think it was like a BuzzFeed video where they were talking about the Sam Hyde meme, the one where like the um the uh, reporters, like people reporting on Sam Hyde being the real killer. BuzzFeed did a video. I believe this is what the topic of the video was. BuzzFeed had done a video about people falling for that meme. 
But then the guy that's doing, that's like presenting it, he like, his ears are so flush against his head that he looks like a fucking Minecraft man. So I just did a whole video like laughing about this dude's ears. This was like, like three years ago maybe. And then at some point, I remember why I took it down. YouTube had like released some new like anti-bullying guidelines and I'm like fuck this video might get hit because of it and it doesn't really have a lot of views so I'm just gonna take it down because it's like I'm not gonna I don't usually take down videos but it's something where it's like, I feel like I'm risking a strike for a video that people aren't even watching I'm gonna take it down oh I know I remember why I cracked up laughing too because I was like, I got it, went on this like rant about how like lizards, they kind of have, they don't really have ears, they have holes in the side of their heads and they just feel the vibrations. So there's a part where it's like, I'm like tapping on the microphone and I'm like, can you hear me little lizard? Or <laughs> some shit like that. And then I just start dying laughing as I'm doing that. I remember that's the exact moment you were thinking of, I think. Uh, what have we got here? We got, uh... Alright, Flo donated 5 euros to Super Chat. My girlfriend gets turned on from your videos. Should I be worried? Cheers from Hamburg, Germany. Uh, yeah, you should absolutely be worried. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. There's nothing I could do about this. But yeah, you should... You have to have like an intervention. All her friends or family. Like, listen, we gotta do something about this guy, Wang. Slow-mo panda with the five. Again, thanks for tips. We'll try shorts. Hard to be on cam with my disabilities and bullies making me unmotivated. Do unboxing, tech reviews, commentary, etc. too. Um, oh yeah, something else I actually I didn't remember too, like audio quality. That's always like the biggest thing. Like before you worry about anything else, like framing, any shit like that, like always try to get your audio the best as possible. Because like that is like above all else the thing that like a lot of people don't even like watch the actual video anymore. They just listen to it for background noise. So you're gonna want that audio quality. Like if you have, if you have like money to spend on either video or audio, it's always I'll, I'll, until your audio gets to a certain point, always spend it on audio. Major D donated two dollars through super chat. Congrats on one mil. I've been sub since 2018. Hell yeah! Thanks, Major D. It's cool that like there's like so many people who've been around that long that are still around. Although something that's always mind blowing to me because like I, I'm pretty active, I'm relatively active on TikTok. Like a lot of shorts are also posted on there. But then sometimes people will find me on TikTok, who will be like, "Oh, I used to watch your videos on YouTube. Holy shit, I found you again." But then it's it's weird to me that I like because it doesn't feel like I've been doing this that long. Where someone might have used to have watched my videos. I even had someone once tell me that they grew up watching my videos. I'm like, "Yo, that's." I can't fathom someone haven't been able to grow up watching my videos, but it's like, I've been doing this for close to five years now, I think, so it's, I mean, if you started watching my shit as a teenager, and now you're an adult, so, yeah, that's crazy. Woo! Um, what else we got here? We got, um... You know what happens? Oh, like I see, I see what's going on here. Why I keep losing it? It scrolls up as the new ones come in. Um, bu 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 bu. Ugmug, congrats, Swang. Love the content. You definitely deserve the one million. Thank you, Ugmug. Brighton, just trying to hear that woo again with the five. Thanks, bro. Ian Larea, twenty through super chat. Congrats on the Millie Mother one two three. Let's play when. I don't know. Like I don't like. <laughs> I don't like the idea of streaming RPGs, because what, ha what every time I've tried to do it, I wind up blowing my fucking voice out because I'm like reading all the dialogue and shit, and then it's like, if it's something that you haven't played before, which I, I've played those before, but it's something you haven't played before, then it's like, no matter how many times you tell people to not spoil shit, they spoil shit anyway, and it's like, it's, it gets annoying, or that or like backseating, so I would probably never, never stream like a JRPG. Like, even, like, that short, like, um, Tamers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <coughs> Excuse me, Tamers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, RPG, based on Sonic. 
even that, it was like a two-hour game, and I still <gasps> fucked my voice up reading all the dialogue. You congratulations on one million. Been around since day one and always knew I'd see to this day. Much love, brother. Yo, thanks, Evil Intentions. That's, um... That's my dude, Jose, who, like, his channel Evil Intentions, a true crime channel, focuses, like, I... Uh, so that dude, I've known him for, like, decades. My old band used to play with his old band, Fatality, and now he's a YouTuber. Doing true crime shit. A lot of stories people haven't done on YouTube either. Go check him out. We got the... Uh, Rattlehead with the five. Congrats, Wang. Love from Dirty Jersey. Oh, you're right there, Rattlehead. Thanks, Rattlehead. The Real Zero with the two... Three hours of calming SNES music. Yes, that is um what I have on right now. The uh the the th I'm three hours of calming uh, three hours of relaxing Super Nintendo music from SNES Drunk. That's what I have as the the background playlist right now. All right, um, Brighton, trying to hear that woo again multiple times. Thanks for the five, and the other five, and the other five. Goddamn, Brian, you're going in. I appreciate that a lot. Sack Orchard, thanks for the five. Neil Smullen, congratulations from Dublin, Ireland. Keep it up, buddy. I will keep it up. Thank you. VKM TV Studios, I remember you. Thanks for the 499, congrats. Maybe after our hard work, we can get Viacom to release the Freddy Krueger pilot. Thanks for giving a shot to a small channel like mine. Yo, so actually, that Freddy Krueger reality TV show series that I spoke about um, a few Lost Media videos back, that is available now. I forgot which service it is, but you can stream that on some platform. I don't remember which one it is, though, but that is, like, they released it, like, last month. That's, uh, Freddy's Night... Was it, uh, no, it was Real Nightmares, I think. Woo! It's on Paramount. Yeah, there you go. I believe it's on Paramount. It might be on something else. But it's on, it's, it's out now. It, like, just came out earlier this month. Oh, yeah, if you watch that video, VCAM TV Studios is, uh, the uh, the guy who like does the cameo in that video. Toy bounty hunters, don't stop now. By the cover girls, that's a good one too. Don't stop, El oh, I, I fucking totally lost her swipe. Yeah, don't stop. Like any cover girls you're set with. White Sea Deer with the five. Congrats on the one million from Texas. Am I stoked for Stone Cold to wrestle again with WrestleMania? No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm definitely not watching WrestleMania. WWE to me is in completely unwatchable right now. Every time I try, like... I'm not, like, I'm not interested in watching Stone Cold fucking break a hip. If I'm going to watch wrestling, it's going to be like Stardom or fucking Whoa. AEW or something like that. Like... I don't know, like, I don't know, I, I don't see a path for WWE to become watchable again. <laughs> One Sebastian Fajardo with the, uh, the ARS 200, thanks. If you took it that, oh, you took it down, I need that, it was one of the first videos I watched, I need it. I don't know if I ever even saved that. I might have put it up on Storyfire, actually, I don't remember. It might still live on Storyfire. Uh, which, if you're just joining us, we're talking about that, um... The BuzzFeed reporter with the fucking weird ears Whoa. video. <laughs> Bay with the with the five... Wang P.O. Box, when? That would be t Actually, I do have a P.O. Box. But it's like, I don't, like, post it publicly. Whoa. Because, like, I don't know what people would fucking send me. So, I, I'll give it to people if I know exactly... If it, I know what they intend to send me. I'll give them the P.O. Box, but I don't, like... I would not do, like, a public one. That would be such a shit show. Dramatic Pirate with the five. Hey, Wayne, question. Have you seen Jinro? 
It's one of the best anime films. Kind of dark too. Love your stuff. Congrats on the one mil. Here's the two. I I have not watched that one. Also, I just I noticed something. In, oh, Sama Ltd in the regular chat talking about the mass transit incident. So I feel like that one is a that topic. It's a topic that's Let's been covered go, congrats, a lot. Hell yeah, Dolplex. That, like, confused me so much that I, I keep on, like, every time the Texas Beach comes in, I get mad confused. But, yo, Dolplex, thanks, brother. Woo! Um, the, uh, so I was thinking of doing some, like, wrestling, like, just interesting storyline type videos. When I get around to that, probably the one that I will wind up doing is, the first one I'll probably do is, like, the Choppy Choppy You Pee Pee story arc with fucking, um, Val Venus and Kai and Tai. I feel like that one, like... That's a, t that's a topic that always gets mentioned in passing when someone makes a video about the Attitude Era, but nobody really does, like, the deep dive on the Choppy Choppy You Pee Pee. Woo! So that's, like, that's definitely one. I actually, I had, um... What's his fucking, um... I, I've had, like, uh, like wrestling guys, like, want to do collabs, too. And, like, we haven't, like, come up with, like, in-depth stuff to, like, do, like, a collab on, but that might be a good one to bring some of them on. Um... But yeah, I feel like there will be more wrestling ones, and there's also like a wrestling, a lost media, um, Circus of Blood. I want to do a video on Circus of Blood, which is like this, um, a very strange lost wrestling movie. Boz Skaggs, congratulations, miss your retro game streams. I'm going to be, um, doing some more of those again soon. Those and some indie games. I have, like, a bunch of games I bought. I have a bunch of, like, I got um, a pack of boomer shooters I meant to stream. I meant to stream Death Trash. Um, some retro game streams for sure, too. I'll definitely be doing at some point. Vexmaster with the five. You ever play the Street Fighter II bootleg at Queen Bee Laundromat back in the day? If so, there is a good chance we both shared the same Street Fighter II bootleg experience. Queen Bee Laundromat. I don't remember the name. Like, I don't remember that it was. I might have. I because I remember there. Like, I had mentioned a laundromat in my uh, Street Fighter Rainbow Edition vi video, and I believe that one was just called Forest Laundromat. But then Queen Bee. It's definitely gonna get lost in the chat too. But Queen Bee. I don't remember where Queen Bee Laundromat was. It sounds vaguely familiar to me. Evil Intentions with the 20. I we all read, I had gotten that one before. Brighton Guernsey with another two for the woo. A seven Wagon with five for the congrats on the one million. It's wild that this is just now happening. I know so many people who love your channel. Thanks. Yeah, it's weird. Like, there's so many channels, too, where it's like, I thought they were at a million long ago. Like, Whoa! Gamer From Mars only hit a million recently, too. And I was I thought he was, like, he had been there. I think Red Letter Media only hit a million, like, last year. And I thought they had been, like, well past that. So, I, I guess it's, like, it's hard to assess it sometimes. Whoa! Uncodified Horror, thanks for becoming a member. Sukeban de Labi Thunder Saki donated two. And Carcion Bichav's Lost Philippines commercial. I don't know what that is. Any lost media topics, though, always send them to the wanglostmedia at gmail.com email because that is, like, when I go to make a lost media videos, I'll kind of, like, sit with that and figure out, like, what the video is going to be, what are, like, some good topics to go in. Kind of, like, you, I look at, like, things that people, like, kind of, like, came... It's, like, similarities in them to kind of, like, find, like, themes for the videos and shit. Bandicoot Milk. Thanks for the five. It was awesome to hear Wang say milk bandicoots. Not just milk, it like consider the possibility of milk in them. Because it's probably I imagine it tastes disgusting. But Yeah. Thanks, Brighton. For the five again. Okay, I'm done memeing. Shout out to the other Patreon boys and other members, especially the people sub to both. Hell yeah. Fiendish Shape donated five. Been here since poop scissors. <laughs> Where it was uploaded. Congrats, dude. Damn, the poop scissors. It's funny, because I put that one in the, um... The, uh, the poop compilation. 
something I love about those compilations, I kind of like, I try to like mix and match them, like to be like, well, like be like a good flow for the overall viewing experience. But then I sometimes like I'll pop those like super old ones in, and those have such a different vibe. It's fucking weird. That one, like the cum jar video, like those, like the real old ones shot on my fucking shitty webcam. With my fucking bootleg ass green screen, it was just like fabric I bought from some store. I just I really only started doing that too because it was such a pain in the ass to set up. Salty Baggins with the four ninety nine. Thank you, uh, Wang Gang. Keep the sweet content coming for years to come. We'll do that. This never ends. Channel just goes on until I fucking <laughs> until I fucking die, I guess. Or you know, or you know, they ban me or some shit. That's not gonna happen. Bay Desu donated nine ninety nine through super chat. Wang showing off his bootleg Freddy doll is still my favorite. Have a good evening and congrats again. Yeah, thanks. I need to like pick up some like more like weird bootleg shit too. I feel like the bootleg Freddy shit is like more fun to have than the than the real shit. Although, wait, so I got like. Alright, so, like, I just I stabbed myself in the chest with this by accident. The fucking, um... Nightmare on Elm Street 4, I believe. It's either 4 or 5. It's based on the sign-up. So, I got this one. This one is made by, um... It was made by... Nightmare Gloves. Through Trick or Treat Studios. He does his own stuff independently sometimes, but he put that one through that store. But he's, um... He's been making his new batch of new Nightmare Gloves... And I'm down to get one of the first ones of those. That's, you know, that's the one where it's, like, the Flesh Claw. He got, like, the, the old one. I forgot what the old one was made out of, but, like, his new mold is made out of silicone, I believe. So, it's, like, a lot more... In his, in his explanation, it's a lot more, like... It, like, withstands the weather better and is a lot, like, movable and shit. So, I'm very stoked for that one to come. I can... You know, they're, they're both right-handed, though, so, you know, I'm gonna... I can't dual wield the clothes, but I can like I can switch them up. Anyway, now my arms rest. I can I can put the uh, the play button back in the frame again. I mean, not scratch it up though. Let me see if I can drink my drink with this. See, I thought the difficulty of that would be to do it with the claw, but the actual difficulty is like I got like the leather of the glove pressing up against the bottom of my lip when I do that, and it's it kind of I'm not tasting it directly, but I guess the scent of the leather imparts a little bit of taste on the drink, so it's not not the ideal consumption experience. Sober. Sober Nick, 1982, with the 1999. Congrats on the 1 million. I'm a fairly new subscriber, but I've known of you for a while. You're definitely my spirit animal. I wonder what it is that, if you've known about me for a while, what it is that, like, brought you to the fold recently? Because I know there are YouTubers like that, too, where you're aware of them, but then, like, all of a sudden, you just never watch them, and all of a sudden, one of their videos kind of brings you in. And you're like, hell yeah, like, I watch this now. I forgot, I know there's specific examples from me recently, but I just can't remember. Ultimatum VV donated five. Congrats on the play button, Wang. I've been watching you since 2018 when you made the two girls one cup video. Have I ever seen Tetsuo the Iron Man? Not only have I seen Tetsuo the Iron Man, but I actually, so like when I was using the fish islands for a period of time, I didn't kind of see the TV I have off to the side. You, um, I would play things on it. And in one of the videos, you can kind of see, uh, you can kind of see, one of the videos I put, I had Tetsuo the Iron Man playing in the background, but I don't remember which one it was. But yeah, Tetsuo the Iron Man's a classic. Trin with the 499, thank you. Congrats on the mill. I know you just got off tour, but I gotta know. When is Jinx coming up to Portland, Oregon? What's fucked up is, so that last tour, we were supposed to hit Portland, but we were in Denver, 
and we were like the drive from Denver to um I don't remember if we were going to Portland or Seattle directly from there but it's like it's a weird drive so we we're like yo let's go like get the man checked out just in case and our transmission was fucked there were a bunch of problems but like the main thing was transmission so we had to get it done and it couldn't get done fast enough for us to actually get to the show so we were just um stuck in Denver for a few days so we didn't actually make it to Portland Anyway, it's good we got that checked out, because, like, what would have happened is we would have been stranded halfway between fucking Denver and Portland in the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, but, you know, we, uh, the next tour we're doing isn't going to hit Portland, but it, we should be there at some point before the year's up, because we're submitted for a lot more tours uh, further on in the year. We just don't know which exactly we're going to have at this point. But we should be hitting Portland at some point this year. Uncodified horror with the five. I've been a fan since the Borat inspiration video. Congrats on one million subs. Thanks, Uncodified horror. Um, actually, so with the Borat guy video, uh, Mahir. After I had made that video, his manager reached out to me, and they were talking about how they were doing a documentary about Mahir. And he, um, he, like, it, I, I don't know if, like, I got the impression they were going to try and, like, sue Sasha Baron Cohen or, like, what the deal is. I don't, I don't know what the situation with that is entirely, or they were just kind of, like, make a hit piece on him. Or they were just trying to, like, do something to kind of bring back Mahir, who was, like, the guy that, like, that Borat was very obviously based on. Um, I don't know. He had contacted me again recently about some... Around the time Borat 2 came out, I think. But I guess, like, nothing really became of what they were working on. I would definitely be down to be in that documentary. I would fucking... That would be insane. That's like... My here is one of the first memes that I ever fucking remember. And it was, like, one of the first memes that ever, like, really got, like, big mainstream. Like, they fucking parodied that shit on Mad TV. That might be the first instance I can think of. Or maybe, like... I don't remember if Hamster Dance was before or after my year. It might have been before. Actually, now that I think about it. But, um... Regardless, I... Like, this is, like, the fucking... Early 2000s. Maybe even, like, 99. And you got fucking... A mainstream... TV show playing fucking memes. Disappointed Degenerate with the five. There's a book called Basurumu. I wouldn't be surprised if it's where Saki OP got the idea for the shitpost that started the fiasco. I'd look into that. Thanks. Gay Mario. The I, I'm assuming the arch nemesis of Gay Bowser. Donated 199. What's the best use for a small glass jar? Uh, obviously, it's to, to, to hold on to a very small amount of expired exotic jams. Goobzeu with the Australian, I believe, 10. Congratulations, dude. Been watching your content for a while. Big love. Thanks, Goobs. Want Sebastian Fajardo? Again, with the again with the ARS 100. Last message, I swear. Found it in story. Oh, it is on story fire, the video he was looking at. Shit. Alright. So it does it's not lost media, it's the fucking the guy with the weird years video is on story fire. Um, Japanese name that I unfortunately cannot pronounce. Donated to. Congrats. Love your content. Thanks. Joseph Miranda, who I saw for like the first time in years recently. Uh, donated five. Congrats, bro. I'm super happy and excited for you. We need to hang soon. Much love. Yeah, dog. It was good seeing you the, uh, the call, I guess like a month ago now. Joe. Thanks for becoming a member, Goobs. Boz Skaggs with the five. R.I.P. Razor Ramon. Old school wrestling always makes me think of Wang. Yeah, dog. That was fucking crazy. And like, I mean, obviously, like he's had his problems, but it's just kind of like it seemed like he got his shit together. Whoa. So like, it, it sucks that he gets his shit together and then he fucking dies. It's kind of it's not. I mean, yeah, at least he had more time than the Ultimate Warrior did in that regard, but it sucks. Kaiju's dad donated 10. What's up, Kaiju's dad? Hell yeah, Wang. Your Brian Pepper's video hooked me years ago. It was before I had my Shiba Kaiju. 
So I started buying merch because of that. The NJP hoodie is my... F oh, the New Japan hoodie. Yeah, that was a cool design. My friend Brandon, who actually made my logo, he just came up with that randomly one night. I was like, yo, I gotta print these. Can you tell Kaiju he's a good boy? You're a good boy, Kaiju. <laughs> Sophia Norowitz with the five. What's up, Sophia? Here's some simp cash, you dork. Thank you, Sophia. Don't know how to pronounce it. Donated five through Super Chat. Congrats, so I've been watching you over a year now. Thank you, Jigandim. Gino. X1987. Canadian 10. There is a lost childhood memory of mine I need help on. A cartoon of storm clouds covering up a cartoon sun looking afraid of two kids in a castle going down a slide had a 80s art style. Thoughts? Hmm. Gino, I'm like judging by the name Gino 1987. I'm assuming you were born in 1987. So it's kind of like I'm I'm imagining this is like an early 90s type deal. What's coming to my head is like a commercial for something, but I don't know. But like to me like this is vaguely familiar to me, but it, it sounds I'm thinking it's a commercial, but I got no clue. I can't place it. Infinite Infinite Nick with the cal with the uh, well, I, I said a California five, Canadian five. Congrats on the growth to one million on April Fool's Day. Yeah, what's funny is so many people thinking like this was some kind of April Fool's trick, even though it's like I very obviously did hit the one million. But I get it. It's like it's April Fool's Day. I think I don't know if you put it out yet. I record part of um a an April Fool's video for Internet of J. I don't know if he, like, he was talking about publishing it, like, on the, like, two days ago, and I was like, people aren't gonna know it's an April Fool's joke, because it's, like, it was, like, March 30th. <laughs> so, uh, but, um, he, um, I'm sure, he was, like, itching to upload that right away, so I'm sure it's been published by now. Connor Stanberry with the five. I know you did interviews for New Fear City. We will be watching Casanova Valentine versus Cruel and ICW. Um, I might I might watch it after the fact. Um, I it's like that's happening this weekend, right? <laughs> so it might be uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna be busy while it happens, but you know, yeah, I definitely will want to watch it. Cass's shows are always fucking <laughs> always fun as shit. Always, uh, always like to see them in person. Oh, I, I believe he's doing that down in Dallas because of uh, WrestleMania weekend, right? Putrid. With the, uh, the Norwegian, right? The Norway? Kroner. That, did I get it right? Is that what the currency is? But you gave me 50 of them. Thank you, Putrid. Congrats with the milestone. Thanks for all the trauma on my Twitter feed. Thanks, Putrid. And if you're the Putrid I think it of, I've actually been meaning to hit you up about some artwork. Um, we'll talk about that at some other point. The Psychotic Circus of Savannah. With the two. Where do you plan on hanging the button? I have like a... I have like a, a place in front of my door in the hallway of my building where it's I have like the silver one hanging up. I'll probably put the uh, gold one there too and kind of like move that one. Then I gotta install it over there. The uh, Bucks Trader, this is um, a Warren Lotus shirt. He's like, he's constantly, like, they're all, everything he puts out is limited, but he's constantly putting up new shit. And, alright, last one that I have these. Alright, Cole Walsh Davis with 999. Super proud of you, buddy. Buy some Ricks with the donos. Hell yeah, yo, I fucking, I wound up buying the fucking, um, Cole pulled up to one of my shows, and I wanted. I, he was wearing the uh, the Mega Lace Runners, and I wound up uh, grabbing the Mega Lace Runners because they look so cool in person. I was like, "Fuck, I gotta, I gotta get those. They're so sick." But yeah, it's, that's what's going down with this, probably. Anyway, now like, now that we've gone through all the super chats, I can kind of um go through like the other part of like what I want to do on the stream and that's go into like my my big ass note file of unfinished video ideas there's actually I don't know if I'm gonna go into all of them but I'm gonna go into 
whichever ones stand out here. Like some of them, like some of them are done already. Some of them are like I kind of hit a dead end with. Some of them I just got bored of the idea, but they're all in this Woo! playlist. Oh, Connor McClanahan with the six six six. Congrats, dude. Weed is finally available for legal sale today in New Mexico, so you'll be lighting one up. Fuck yeah, enjoy. Hot Diggity Demon with the four ninety nine. What's up, dog? Congrats, man. You earned it. I appreciate that, man. All right, so back into like into my uh, my list of uh, of songs. Um, wow, my list of songs, my list of videos I never put out. Some of them I have put out. Like the title of the the uh, the note file is uh, Super Hornio Brothers. So obviously I already did that one. First one, Keemstar gets PewDiePie's play button. So that's one I that's one that I was working on. Like Keemstar's not the only one who wound up with one of PewDiePie's play buttons. At some point, PewDiePie was getting rid of, like, just all of his stuff in general, and that included the play buttons. Just that, like, he wanted to have less stuff. So then, Keemstar got a hold of one of them, but there are other ones he got rid of that other people got a hold of, too. So that's one video topic. We got Mark Zuckerberg's shirts. Those, uh, though, you know those gray t-shirts that Mark Zuckerberg wears? He, um... He... Everyone's like, oh, he's like, oh, like, you, like... People who are rich like Mark Zuckerberg, they're very frugal. But then those sh gray shirts he wears, they're like $400 shirts that are handmade at this place, the town in Italy that exists only to make these kinds of... It's like only the brand, like totally run by them. So like just going into those shirts and that brand might be an interesting topic. Um, What else we got here? We got uh, Garfield Shore. I feel like this one might be a better one for shorts. There's like just like creepy gar like a bunch of Garfield shit washing up on a shore. I, I forgot what the story behind that was, but I feel like that's just like that's a short and not necessarily a full length video. But we'll see. The human ash marital aid. It was like a a dildo that they fucking made that was like to be filled with the ashes of your dead spouse, pretty much. That one also seems like a short. Um, and Masterpiece of Sheep, you're just joining him going into the, um, my list now of unfinished videos. Oh, sick. Yeah, Jay Russ, thanks for the 420. Everybody get out your jankum to celebrate. Let's fucking go. I'm sure it actually, it's probably actually like a nice, it pro I imagine practice, it's probably not that much different for a popper. That's what, if I had to guess. And Putrid, you are the artist, Putrid. Thanks for the 50. Your art, your DMs are open anytime. Cool, I will hit you up about that. As soon as I get let's, the, like, the idea, the specific, more specific with the idea, I have a vague concept of it, but I'll definitely follow up with you about that. The Zootopia abortion comic. That's one that's definitely 100% happening at some point. Um, that, like, I'm definitely doing a video about the Zootopia abortion comic. Um... There's like there are other like comics that this person has released since that might merit going into, but the Zootopia abortion comic is definitely one. And in that regard, to um, perhaps the Rain Dog comic, where it's there's just like one infamous panel from Rain Dog, where it's like she's owned by this it's a, it's a, it's a web comic, she's owned by this family, but then like she's like making out with the boy in the family who's like human boy. And gets, uh, they take her to get fucking neutered because she was making out with, the parents caught her making out with the boy. <laughs> That's, yeah, oh yeah, I gotta do that one. I gotta do that one. Um, the gamer kicked out of his mother's house. Oh yeah, that was, um, I forgot the guy's fucking, I was looking into this more. And the guy actually, like, there, if you remember that news story from a few years ago, there was a, um... The, uh, yeah, oh, and yeah, uh, that called, in this, in that comic, the woman is the dog. But, um, there's, uh, the gamer kicked out of his mother, I, there was, like, I forgot what the exact story was, but there was, like, a, basically, he had, his mother sued him to kick him out of his house, and he had, like, a bunch of kids he was, he, like, he had to take care of and shit like that, it was, a uh, that might be an interesting one to go back into, I don't remember all the details of that one. The Day the Clown Cried, which is, um, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with The Day the Clown Cried, it's an unreleased, um, Jerry Lewis Holocaust movie. 
That's that. I guess that that would kind of be like a lost media topic in a way, even though I believe it is available not to watch somewhere, not to like have, but to like be screened at like some institution or whatever the fuck. At least in part. Jenny Scott, thanks for the five pounds. Congrats on the one million. Been around since the Brian Peppers video. Are you gonna watch the new season of Last Drive-In? Yeah, probably. Um, damn, I guess, yeah, the Brian Peppers video was definitely, like, one of the early videos that brought a lot of people in. Ty Cry, your band recorded a version of the Zootopia abortion comic set to music. Hell yeah. It definitely needed a theme song, right? Julia Child, McDonald's French Fries. I have a few listed here about McDonald's French Fries. Because, alright, so McDonald's French Fries... I'm old enough, like, to the point where so I remember the old... I vaguely have, like, a childhood recollection of the good McDonald's french fries back when they were fried in beef tallow. And then at some point, there was a guy who took out a bunch of advertisements saying that McDonald's gave him a heart attack and blah, blah, blah. So they changed the, uh, the recipe to, like, some kind of vegetable oil or some shit. It was... They were never the same. Like, if you remember, like, people will be like, oh, McDonald's has the best fast food french fries. If you remember those old ones, the soggy fucking beef towel McDonald's french fries, they're so much better. And, uh, Julia Child had said something about it. I have, I have Julia Child McDonald's french fry written down here, but I don't remember exactly what she said about it, but it's definitely, uh, it's a topic I would like to go into. However, someone just made a video about it, um... I'm, I'm just gonna look it up now, because I remember like, I was working on it, and then I saw, like, the same week I started working on it. I'm just gonna look it up. McDonald's French Fries will come up. Ah, yes, it was Today I Found Out. They, uh, he made a video about the McDonald's French Fries, like, six months ago, so I was like, fuck, no, I can't do it. I mean, I could do it anyway, but... He just made a video about it, so it's like, it doesn't really... Makes sense, but rest assured that the old McDonald's french fries are, like, so much better. Like, it's not, it's not even, you can't compare it. And there's recipes online to make them yourself. I don't know how they stack up. You got the Japanese biker who pretends to be a woman. Oh, no, I think it was the other way around, where you have this woman that pretends, that pretends to be a Japanese biker... That's a man, but she's really a woman. I forgot what it, it's something like that, but that's one of them. Um, should Goatsy be in Wikipedia? So this one is actually, I feel like I, it's one of those things where maybe it's a short, maybe it's too long to be a short. I don't know, but there's a bunch of talk pages on Wikipedia. And the weird thing about this specifically, I think it's from them like separating and like reattaching the, um, the Goatsy Wikipedia page a bunch of different ways. But when you look into it, there's like a bunch of talk pages of people debating whether or not the actual Goatsy image belongs on the page because it's like, is it of historical value for Wikipedia? In my opinion, it, I mean, if you've got an article on Goatsy and you don't have the Goatsy image, what fucking sense does it make? You gotta have it there. It's not like people are loading up a fucking Wikipedia to jerk off the Goatsy. They're going, it's... It should, it just should be there. But there's pages about pages about debate about whether or not it should be on Wikipedia. J-Bob. Donated the Philippines 50. Regards from the Philippines. Thanks, J-Bob. Duang Donated 5. Do I have any idea who King Ass Ripper is? Or would you ever consider making a video or short about him? I haven't seen anything about him. The name is really familiar to me. I don't remember specifically, though. <laughs> Disappointed Degenerate donated five. Basarumu is on Kadokawa's website. It's painting as a search for otherwise. Also, it's on Amazon Japan. All right. Thanks, Disappointed Degenerate. And if you're just joining, that is... um. That... Wait. Did the music... St there's no... There's no way the music just stopped. Oh, no. It's just like a lower key thing. Um, that is... Uh, 
he believes that the idea for Saki might have come from that. What else do we have here? Oh yeah. The um oh Rage Comics Cancer Diagnosis. I already did that video. Carl Tanzler Dead Wife Doll. That's like this dude like made a, made a doll out of his dead wife. That's the topic though. It's like it's been covered a lot by true crime channels, so I might not necessarily do that one. Claudio, thank you for the CLP Claudio Ibakash. Thank you for the CLP five hundred. I thank you, Stuart Glencrows, for the eight ninety nine pounds. Hello from the UK. Hello. Oh, it's getting late over there, huh? Right, whatever music is here, stop. And let me skip to the next song, because whatever it is, it's too quiet. There we go. We got Magical Quest Mickey Mouse. Right, we have uh, D's Nuts... <gasps> D's Nuts president, um, which obviously that's like the thing where it's like he had a guy running as, uh, who wrote in D's Nuts for the presidential election in fucking 2016. I don't know, um, I feel like that's what it might have been done too much for me to want to touch, but I can look into that. I kind of saw that popping up recently again as a meme too, so it's, it might be a little too saturated to make a video on, but we'll see. We got... The PS3 release. I guess... I don't know why I put that down. It might just be because it was, the release was such a shit show when it came out. I don't remember, though. We have The Noid. But I think Game From Mars recently just did a video on that, so I'm probably not going to do that one. Oh, Terry East, the guy with the love doll who gave birth to a baby doll. That might, I feel like that might be a fun one to do. Even though I don't know necessarily know if there's like a ton of uh, coverage to potentially be done of that, it's still like an interesting little story there. The room where you can't identify anything. That's like if you've seen that meme where it's like, it's like a bunch of objects and everything looks vaguely familiar, but like nothing is actually anything. Maybe just a video on like what that picture is and what it exists. What else do I have here? The biggest poop. <laughs> That one's probably going to be a short, because like it was like, uh, there's a, a gif that floats around sometimes, where it's like a woman, she's kind of like squatting over like, I think it, it might have just been the floor, it might have been like a fucking, um, oh, what should we call it, a fucking, uh, what do you call it, a wee wee pad or something, and it was like the, the world's longest poop, but it wasn't actually the world's longest poop, it was like some kind of like art, performance art thing, whatever the fuck it was. But that, uh, that one might be... I feel like that's a short. But we'll see. The Milk Creature Guy. This one, actually, I was like... I started writing, writing this one out. That one, um... That one... I feel like won't be a super long one, but it is an interesting little story. Um... If you, do you remember... It's the one with, like, you got this, like, weird creature, its head looks like a coconut, and this woman has, like, milk getting poured on her, and then she's, like, like, the like creature's face is in her face. There's, like, a bunch of different pictures like that. That, uh, that's the topic I'm talking about there. Andrew Smith, thanks for the 10. I've watched so many of your videos, but never given you money. Well deserved, bro, and congrats. Keep the poo coming. I might have to, like, have, like, a little pause in the poo videos, because, like, now I've put too many of them out recently. Although, I do have a short coming out. It's about, uh, this guy who, um, due to a surgical botch, he was shitting out his dick and coming out his ass. So, that's, uh, that's one of the shorts that I got coming out as soon as I'm done editing it. Chris Noble with the 10. Epic Wang style. Thank you, Chris Noble. Tim Butler with the 5. Congrats, Mr. Wang. Major achievement. Thank you for the years of entertainment, history, dies, investigations, and stories that led you to this point. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Byron Brian Trawick with the five. Grover House, Goon Islands, Kid Nation. Um, Kid Nation is actually on the list. Although I realized recently, um, 
I, well, I was, I started working on it, and then I realized, like, John Tron had, like, a big fucking video on Kid Nation. So I gotta sit down and watch his video and see if it's worth it for me to do my own. Woo! Kid Nation, basically, Man, essentially... this chick just bumped into me at the festival and is pulling me here and there and she jumped into some contraption and disappeared into the past and everyone's looking at me like I'm supposed to do something. Thanks for the 20 look out of That sounds a lot like... Sounds vaguely familiar, right? Yeah, it's music, uh... Not this music specifically, but music like it is kind of reminding me of the time that happened, right? But yeah, Kid Nation's kind of like Lord of the Flies, the <gasps> coming into real life. Supoxone, thanks for the 499 second, the Kid Asterisk video. Let me, yeah, I'm gonna. I have had a few people ask about this. It's uh, King Astripper. I've definitely like seen it before. I just don't remember which specific fucking thing it is, but. Good inhaler there, huh? <laughs> what else do we have on the list here? We got um, Long Cat. I believe Long Cat died recently too, right? Well, yeah, Long Cat is is a uh, classic four chan. I mean, if you don't know what the fuck Long Cat is, which is funny, because like to think about it, I feel like. A lot, uh, probably like a good chunk of the people who use 4chan these days were probably not alive when that was a fucking meme on there. But that's one. Um, Hotel 626 Doritos Flash Game. That's a lost media topic. Doritos had made this horror game for uh, to promote something. Two of them, actually, I believe. The Septic Tank Swimmer. That one, actually, that one was, like, requested a lot around the time it was new. I don't know how much kind of came out about it since, but, like, I feel like that's when it's, like, now that it's had some time to settle, it might be, like, there might be more than if I had done it when it was brand new. Claudio, uh, Ib Claudio Ibachach again, with the CLP 2500, thank you. A weird Tales from the Engine of South America is about Mente Inferma. A Chilean web personality who was a Nazi and he went missing. That might be a good one. South American Nazis are always kind of like an interesting fucking thing. I remember that came up during uh, one of the streams. During the Angel Fire Adventures J-Rock stream. There was just... There was... It was... um. I think they were Argentinian. It was an Artigi Argentinian Nazi visual Whoa! K band. I don't know how... You got all these things together. Ultimatum again with the five. Thanks, dog. Me again. King Ass Ripper is famous because of a portal radio song, 10 hour video. Around the five hour, 18 minute mark, the King Ass Ripper video was added. Oh, okay. What else we got here? We got, um,. The Toe Necklace, that's actually, that, the Toe Necklace video is coming out next year. I mean, ne not next year, next week. The Toe Necklace video is coming out. It's uh, about this, uh, this chick on Tumblr who sent someone else a fucking, a, sent someone else her toe to make an out of a necklace. To make a necklace into. Resident Evil Director's Cut Deaf Composer. So, actually, I had a video, like, about the song back in the day, but, uh, like, about that fucking, uh, not about the song, the fucking, the shitty Resident Evil Director's, Resident Evil Dual Shock Director's Cut soundtrack. You know, I got the songs, like, well, it just sounds like fucking garbage, and the story was that this guy was, a uh, a deaf composer. But then it turned out he was faking being deaf. So that's, uh, that's... Uh, even though I, like, I covered this way back in the day, too. And the thing is, too, like, back in the day, like, with the videos I made back then, there are some topics I touched on that I kind of would like to revisit and do better. Like, I don't know. I definitely want to go back into those shitty WrestleMania endings. Maybe, like, I feel like, even though I even kind of, like, revisit them a little bit on TikTok, I feel like I can still do those better. Um, like, just, like, stupid WrestleMania arcade game endings. Uh, we got uh, solo jazz. You know, you know those like '90s 
drinking cup squiggly lines. Damn, I forgot about I forgot that I even had it on there. Maybe like I feel like that would be a good a good video that's like off the beaten path for my channel. The fucking just like the history of the solo jazz design. The upchucks. In one hour we're going we're doing a jackbox stream to get S Beater 2 unbanned from Roblox. If you're in, go to our channel and join the Discord. Congrats on 1 million. Um, good luck with that. I am not going to be there for that, but I appreciate you. Mujin1, $5. Thank you. Hey, Wang, when are you going to go on Nick Ricada's stream to get unbreaded? Um, I don't know. I've, I've known Nick for mad long, too. It's just I'm fucking scheduling streams right now. I'm just kind of like... I'm so focused on getting my own shit done that I don't want to like commit to doing anyone else's streams or podcasts right now. Solo Jazz, um, Cobra X-rated version. Oh, someone had emailed me about this a long time ago. Um, so the movie Cobra, the Sylvester Stallone movie, supposedly there's an unreleased X-rated version of it. Uh, that one, I, I don't know, I don't remember the fucking, the details about that one, but that's on the list too. Then there's Worthless 319. Which was, uh, that was a Reddit story. That was, like, the person, I think they, like, cut their dick off or some shit like that. Um, I was thinking about doing that one, but then I fucking, like, that one got covered a lot by other channels. So, it, to me, like, it doesn't really pay for me to do that one. I'm probably not gonna do that one. Monster Pig. Oh, Monster Pig. It was, um... Supposedly, like, they found this, like, really... It was a really big pig, but I think it turned out to be a photoshopped pig, but they fooled enough people that it turned out to be a scandal. I think that's what Monster Pig was. The Mystery Soda Machine. This one, I think there's another one that, like, I had it down there, but then a bunch of other people covered it. Um, the Mystery Soda Machine was, uh... There's just, like, this soda machine that pops up places with weird shit. And it's, like, the locations are random or something. Rotting Potatoes donated four ninety nine. Yo Wang, wish I could stick around for your stream. I'm heading out to catch a local band. Just want to say hi. Hi, Rotting Potatoes. Thanks for the four ninety nine. Legato Modi with the five. Is Final Fantasy V your favorite one from the series? It's mine personally. Crap story, but jobs and abilities and customization second to none. No, my my favorite is definitely six. I feel like Six set like has the best story, has the best combat system, has the best way to build your character. Because like then it's like you can get it kind of it's it's almost like got this built-in way to challenge yourself where it's like So like the way the the way you build your character in Final Fantasy VI, you have the espers every whatever esper you're holding onto while you level up conveys some kind of bonus to your character. Like it might be like plus 20% HP on level up, or plus 5 attack. I'm just making these numbers up. But so, but then, as the game progresses, you'll get better espers with better level up bonuses. So what happens then, it kind of pays to keep your levels low until you get to the point in the game where you start getting the better ones. If you really want to, like, overpower your characters. So I feel like that... That's kind of a mechanic that none of the other games really have. And it kind of, it's one of those things where it kind of, it makes it so, I mean, you don't have to do it that way. It, you can still very easily overpower your character, you just gotta grind longer, but you can kind of be more strategic in this one than other ones. Back to the list of unmade videos. The Goat Brain Fucker. I don't remember if that was a 4chan thing or a Reddit thing, but it was... Oh, wait, I think this was the one... It was, it was, uh, someone had a story about fucking a goat brain, but then they got attacked by another goat or something like that, I don't... Or, like, they killed the goat and attacked it, I don't remember exactly. I feel like that was a Reddit one. Lost Zombie Movie Dead End, I did cover that one. The Jimmy Neutron Band, Grey Star. Actually, alright, so this is an interesting one. So, 
in the, I believe it's in the Jimmy Neutron movie. Or no, it's no, it's in a, it might they're in the movie I think and the episode of the show. There's this band that they're all excited to see, Graystar. And there's the band's not credited, but I wound up tracking down the guy who had made the band. Um I actually I spoke to him in emails as I was working on this video. And he seemed, like, down to do something, but then he just stopped responding, so I guess... I don't- I, I feel like the video isn't, like, interesting enough if I don't get him. But, uh, that could still happen. Span the Spanish Dragon Ball Z singer. I think that's something where it's like there is an uncredited Dragon Ball singer from the Spanish language one, and one of them... I don't remember which one it was, but he was uncredited for a while, but then they found it. So it's kind of like the Italian Lamu story, but but basically like, it was all solved before I touched it. Let me see. Um, Hitchbot beaten up in Philly. Oh, this one, this one's not an internet story. It kind of is, but this one, I think this might be a fun one to do too. I feel like. Stories like that one, and, um, what was the other one I was talking about before? The, uh, the soda machine, the solo jazz. I'm kind of liking these as topics that aren't necessarily internet topics, but they're still, like, the same type of story that I used to, uh, to copy. Not, not the same, I mean, the same ty type of story that I used to, uh, the same type of storytelling I would do in Tales from the Internet, but for, like, a real-life story. Wait, yeah, I saw someone say they missed the unboxing. Well, here's... If you want to look at it. Woo! You know, I gotta... Had to get my armor... I was fucking holding it like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. But I gave my armor a little rest. Frosty. Frosty X donated five. Congrats on the subs. Much love from a fan. By the way, have you, would you, do a video on weird 4chan cooking threads like Dino Nuggies or Sleepy Time Chicken? Maybe. I feel like if I did something like that, though, it would have to be some, like, 4chan's best recipes or something like that. That might actually not be a bad idea for a video, though. Because it's like, it's not necessarily, like, as I said before, some of these topics, they're not, it's not really, like, a narrative no. like I used to have, like, I like to have on these stories where it's like, here's the story... There's no, like, story of the Sleepy Time Chicken. It's like, here's, like, here's one recipe, then here's the other. That might be something to do. Maybe, like, I guess, maybe I could, like, make the recipes. That might be a good thing to do with them. That might be a little more interesting. Um... Dylan Nelson with the five. You should do a video on that old shock video, Putrid Sex Object. I remember that, that's, that's actually one that a few people have asked me about doing, too. That might come up at some point. Actually, I think, that reminds me, too, it's not on the list, but I definitely, I think it's time for me to finally get around to doing the Mr. Hands video. <gasps> I feel like that's, like, the last of the, uh, the iconic internet filth stories that I didn't cover that has enough for me to do a video on. Like, Lemon Party, and I mentioned this in my Know Your Meme interview, but, like, I would love to do a Lemon Party video, but there's just, like, not enough to... E there's not even really enough to, for me to do a short on that, even, I feel like. And it's, like, you just... You kind of go into, like, what Lemon Party is, but then you're kind of... What else can I really say about it? I don't know who the guys are. I don't know the origin of the picture. I can't... I've tried a few times. Can't found anything about it. Gino... Once again, thanks, Gino, for the five. You ever hear of the guy with the life-size Sally Acorn doll made with wooden bones and dentures and a Frankenstein monster creation? Worth covering. Dog, that's actually one of my most popular videos. But, uh, actually, it's, I think it's, feel like it's one of my favorite ones, too. But, yeah, I've done that one already. Krona. Thanks for the five. Thanks for all the great content. Congrats on the one million. Any chance for some more anime-related videos? Possibly. Like, I I don't have any anime-related topics that I can think of off the top of my head. Or that I don't think I have any on the list even, but... I, I'm not opposed to doing more. Let me 
Let's see what else we got here in uh back to the list. We got Dark Iron Gain Song. I did that one already. Wh uh, where is he now on Eric Bauman? That might actually be a good one. I haven't thought about that for a while. Like, this list has got... Some of these are pretty old. Um, but yeah, where is uh, where is he now on the E-Bombs World Founder? Eric Bauman might be a good one. I actually... Um, I had... Uh, when I had done my Know Your Meme video, too, um, all those companies now... Like, like E-Bombs World is not owned by... Uh, <laughs> The, the 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 bombins anymore there it's kind of like a parent company they're in the same office i believe as know your meme now if i recall properly it's like the the original owners have nothing to do with that company anymore but i don't know what's become of them or i might have looked it up at some point and thought it was kind of interesting which is why i put it up in the list and go back to i think that might be a good one too porch thanks for the five hope you're having a good day i am hope you are too Girls Gone Wild. That's another one too. I have every time I re, every time I think about it, I think of the fucking um, Doug Stanhope commercial on Comedy Central Night, where he's like, "Shows are babies feed. It's natural." But there's definitely a storied a tale of uh, Girls Gone Wild, the rise and fall. Like that was like, such a ubiquitous thing for a while. Like that was Girls Gone Wild was might have been like the most a porn thing that's ever been a cultural sensation. And even I remember when I did the Paris Hilton video, someone involved in that was kind of like in the mix there. But, uh, yeah, that might be a topic for that. Messy Tales interview. Oh, shit. So I've spoken about this before, but never to like enough of an audience to like really talk about it. But, um, well, or where, like people remember, but I actually might have made contact with Messy Tales. There's a guy who follows me on Instagram who claimed to be a mutual friend, and he basically put me and a person who might have been him in contact on telegram and down with like pictures and like it wasn't like a face reveal or anything like that but pictures of this dude with like it's like a big dude with like wearing like a puff mask with shit on it and whatnot smeared on it and all these kinds of things and he he agreed to do a text interview he wouldn't do like audio interview like the uh the, like the cum jar guy but he agreed to do a text interview, but then as I started to put the questions together, he nuked his whole fucking telegram that was just gone, so. If I spoke, so ultimately I spoke to a guy who might be Messy Tails, might not be. If he's not Messy Tails, he's a guy with the same proclivities as Messy Tails. And he's still alive. Let me see, I have something in my email about Event Horizon. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was. I would have to search the email to see it again. I just need to notice this in the box. What's this? Recognize your team. Share the recognition by allowing your team to purchase a personalized creator award. Oh, so you can just, like, buy creator awards. But it's like an authorized, so it's like, I guess, you know what it is like though, if like, it's like, if you have like a, like a whole crew that works with you, you can send them the fucking, you can like buy them a fucking, uh, creator award. I wonder if you could just buy, buy anything outright, because you know what it is, it's just like an email to contact them at, so it probably does has have to be vetted to some point, you can, I don't think you could just be like, yeah, I would like to buy a diamond play button, sir, you know, for my team. Fiendish Shape. Thanks for the five. Are there any videos that blew up that you never expected to? Uh, I mean, I almost didn't release the Brian Peppers video. Because I thought that one kind of... I guess when I made that one, I felt like there needed to be like more of like a mysterious component to it. And there really wasn't for that video. But then that wound up being one of my most popular videos. I also didn't expect the, the Sally Acorn video to get to the extent it did. Like that one, like... That one blew up super fast. I did not expect that. Let's see what else we got here. We got um the tree octopus. That's I think it's like a cryptid thing. Um the fake Hulk Hogan. 
Yes. All right. So like there's, um, I've posted this before, but there's uh, an Indian newspaper that there's like, there was this dude that looks like Hulk Hogan in per impersonated, but they thought it was the real Hulk Hogan. So they did a whole like a fucking story and interview on him. But that's just kind of just this guy's thing. He's he, his whole life is he's just fake Hulk Hogan. So that a, a video about him is one thing I have on here. Um, the Come Tub. That one will probably if I do that one will be a short because that was just I think that popped up on 4chan not that long ago. But the, the name Come Tub. I assume you can figure out what it's about. Yeah, okay, inflation. Um. Yeah, that's like, I was alluding to this before, like, he's doing a, a video on all kinds of paraphilias. Inflation, Navor, the Greyhound murder, that's uh, the guy that, like, he got decapitated by a stranger on a Greyhound bus in Canada. That one might be a, that kind of, like, goes more to the true crime territory. I feel like that's a story that might have been covered a lot, like, a, a lot of the true crime topics... I do feel like a lot of them are things that have been covered so much that it might not be worth it for me to really spend any time on. I don't know, though. The Grapefruit Lady? Yes. The fucking... Apparently, she's, like, still, like, super active on social media, too. You know, like, the, the dick-sucking lady who, like, demonstrates on a fucking grapefruit? The story, That's one of the stories in the list. We got, oh, we got Kid Nation in here. We got Synthol. There's a few Synthol guys. I wrote Synthol in there, but there's quite a few guys who, like, you know what Synthol is. It's the stuff you you inject it into your muscles and it just makes it look big with fluid. But the Synthol guys, that's one of the ones that, uh... There's a specific Russian guy in particular that had a crazy story about it. Vince Vintage. Yeah, we want you to cover them. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if I did cover the same story that other channels did, I wouldn't do it the same way. So it might be worthwhile, but I don't know. It uh, it depends on the amount of done this. Like, uh, there's a lot of videos that have like one or two other videos on a topic, but if it's like something like every single true crime channel is done, I'm kind of like, uh, even though like a lot of them, they just kind of like, they present it and it's a lot of them do it in like a very conversational way where they're just kind of like, they're like not doing like here's like this thing that happened, then this thing that happened, then this thing that happened. It's kind of like kind of just like talking like a conversation with your friend. Which it's kind of like, it's a cool type of video, but it's not really what I do. So I can see why someone would want me to do it instead of them. Or like, just like, do my version. We got, um, Mugshot Bay. There's a few people who've been granted that nickname too, but people who've, uh... They've had their mugshots taken, and people are like, oh, they're very hot. They should be models. There's a guy one, and there's a girl one. Maybe I could just do both of them in the same video. Later, Jack Frost. What else we got here? Emo Black Thought. Emo Black Thought was... It was a Twitter account. It was, like, relatable woman shit. And it turned out to be, like, a guy, which was weird because they would make posts about their period and stuff. So it was just, like, some dude, like... Making relatable content for women that would... As if they were a woman, but they weren't. And then they try, tried to go off and, like, do their own thing. I gotta look more into, like, this one, that one was, like, one that was suggested by a friend. Ky Kyber132, thanks for the five. Any Foo Fighters albums wow. or songs that I was a big fan of? Um, not a huge Foo Fighters fan. I like some of the singles, like Everlong's cool, My Hero's cool, um, Learn to Fly, but they've never been a band that I really sat around like, um, like, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and have myself a fucking Foo Fighters session. Let's see what else we got, um, M oh, this is another one that was sent to me by somebody, MLP, My Little Pony Fluffies. I remember there being some controversy around that, but I didn't look too much into that one. St. Cloud Superman, which was, uh, I believe that was just a, a real-life superhero type deal. There's a Lost Twisted Metal thing. We got Choppy Choppy Pee Pee, which I spoke about before. 
William Blisser with the 199. Thank you. What's the most yeetable object? Let me just like fucking throw it. Like, fucking baby, I guess. Like just like fucking punt that shit like like Snitsky. We got the diarrhea jars. I already did that. Um. What else here? Oh, this one I just saw like a, recently. A uh, man. Do you remember that wrestler, Man Mountain Rock? He was like this big fat guy that played guitar. He apparently had like some documentary he was releasing about one of the WWF's European tours from back in the day. Has like still been like promoting it's coming, it's coming. So that might be like a fucking lost media thing. Uh, I don't know if that that's one of them where it might not merit a full lost media like its own investigation. But it might be a cool, like, maybe if I do, like, another wrestling episode, um, his, the Lost Man Mountain Rock tapes might be a good one. Then I have, uh, oh, Andy the Footless Goose. I, I don't know, I looked at that one, that's like, that's kind of like a story to Andy the Footless Goose. But I don't know if I want to do one, because it's like, it's fucking... It's a fucked up story about an animal getting killed. Like, a famous animal gets killed, and, like, nobody... Knows the mystery of it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that one. Septimus Tingitinus. The TRY 499. Thank you. Parallax. Have a great weekend, my friend. Congrats on one mil. Great music, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now we're down to like some of the shorts that I have listed here. We got um, Space Lobster. Which like they're gonna launch apparently like there's a I don't know I don't know if it's true and I think it might be an urban legend that <gasps> a lobster like if you give it enough space it'll just get infinitely bigger until it dies so I want to launch a lobster into space or something and see what happens that's one thing um the punished monkey if you ever seen that meme where it's like yeah, there's a, a monkey tied up <gasps> and the the article title is something like uh, uh heart Money monkey uh pu punished as horrible crowd laughs on laughs and cheers or something like that. I wanted to go into the story. What happened to that monkey? Sperm smoothies. Don't remember what that was exactly. Foreskin facial mask. Police shit sandwich. Suing the guy who sued Israel for killing Jesus. I guess that's a similar one to the one who sued the gays for being. Uh, yeah, she sued all the gays in Nebraska or something like that. That was one of the shorts I had done. The 4chan piss jar. The semen tea. Oh! The fucking, the fake disabled basketball team. I think, I believe, alright, this might be, uh, this, that one's definitely not a, not, not a short. That's a full length one. Um... But there was a basketball, it was like a fucking some kind of, dis I don't remember if it was a, I think it was a mentally disabled basketball team for the Special Olympics or something. But it was basically like the ringer, where they just pretended to be fucked up, but they were actually just regular dudes. But pretending so they could compete in the Special Olympics. I think it was the Special Olympics, it might have been something else. But, uh, there's, there are other videos on that, but I might just make mine. Mega, mega, mega donated five. Congratulations, Wang. You look great. Your skin is glowing. Come to PHL with Jinx and do a vid at the Mutter Museum, please. Maybe. That'd be good. That'd be good to do, right? William Blesser, 199. Favorite side character Whoa! from Ren and Stimpy. Thanks again. Um, probably Mr. Horse. I feel like of all the side characters, that's probably the one I reference the most. Especially as, like, a lot of people will, um... Ask me like questions that are like with like a very obvious it'll, it'll be like something that's like very obviously bad. And like, what's your opinion on this? So I just respond with Mr. Horse. No, sir. Don't like it. I forgot who it was. It was someone who died recently. I think it was when Betty White died. Someone asked me what my opinion on Betty White dying is. And I was like, I, it's bad that she died. <laughs> I don't know what you, what you I don't like that she died. Like, what do you want me to say about this? 
Gino, 1987, Woo! the five. Would I ever try cover? Would I ever try covering a video about ghost politics? Nobody can find any info on who he really is. Big lolcal streamer who is like Alex Jones. I don't know. I've never heard of him. And the fact that it's like some kind of like political character means I might be inviting like the most annoying people on this fucking website to annoy me. So maybe not. Kaiju's dad donated two. Happy birthday to Remy. That's right. So my my doll is my dog's birthday is over. But it was so I appreciate that. Did I ever do a video on that when Ryo Quinn, that dark web first person game, Sad Satan? No, but I feel like that's one of those topics that's been absolutely done to death. So I'm definitely not going to do that one. Semen syringe attack. Yes, that's that's one that yeah I feel like that one will wind up being a shoot. A, wow, a shoot, a fucking short. But yeah, I remember this. This there was a guy who was just running around fucking injecting people with fucking. Come, <laughs> come, syringes. That's definitely uh, that's definitely worthy of the channel. New York City squirrel attacks. I don't. I think there was just a wave of squirrels attacking people, like last past summer or something like that. We got the piss drawer. I, you know what? I looked. At, I started working on a short for the piss drawer. But I felt like there wasn't really enough to it for me to do a video on it. SpongeBob told a woman to kill her daughter. Yeah, that's a good... That, that, what's annoying about a topic like that, it's one of those ones that's kind of like... It's definitely an interesting topic, but it's going to be so hard to word in a way that doesn't get the video shadow banned on fucking every platform. Because you can't title something, SpongeBob told me to kill my daughter. Because then it's just not going to surface the video. So I'm going to have... The, she un, unalived her daughter. I'm sure by now, even like the AI probably knows that unalived is a euphemism for that. I'm going to be like, Spongebob said what? It's going to be like, like that to get around it. Strange Australian with the five. Congrats on the gold play button. Thanks for all the entertainment. What's your favorite so bad it's good wrestling match? Fuck. I'm trying to think of some some Botchamania favorites. God, I mean, one moment that fucking definitely stands out to me is like New Jack versus Bam Bam Bigelow. And I guess Bam Bam Bigelow fucking hit New Jack too hard, so he's kind of like carrying him around like some weekend at Bernie shit. That's one that just like stands out vividly to me. Congrats on the one million from Douglas Levinson. W-H-O-R-U. W-H- Why did it- Thanks, Fox McCloud. I have no idea why the text to speech pronounced W-H-O like it was fucking the World Health Organization instead of who. But it-, it No R-U would be. I, I don't know. I, mean, I guess the uh, Streamlabs doesn't recognize W-H-O as who, the word who. What else do I have here? Oh, the un there's the, a man with an unusually tiny brain, but for some reason it functioned super normal, and they, like, it didn't, like, they didn't even know anything was wrong with him until, like, much later in life, he got a brain scan, and they were like, yo, you, like, literally have, like, almost no brain, what's going on? But, like, everything about him was fucking normal, it was fucking, I, like, there's definitely, like, I feel like the shorts kind of lend themselves really well to, like, weird medical stories, I guess. The Bugs Bunny toilet. That's one, yeah. I don't know if there, I don't know. If there's like, I, there's got to be enough to the Bugs Bunny toilet to make a short about it. Um. Oh, how many days are in a week? That bodybuilding.com thread. That's one of those ones that kind of like lives in this weird world where it's like I could make it a short, or I could make it a regular video that's like on the shorter side. The TJR, I have a friend who pissed in his closet on the reg. Actually, yo, that reminds me. There's this fucking guy who found me on tour. Like, he went to one of my shows on tour, and he told me that, like, 
his friend had this closet that like he would just come in the corner of the closet and then the parents sold the house and you know they didn't clean the fucking the cum wall in the closet and then eventually they get a call from the people who bought the house and they're like yeah this is weird mold growing in your closet that we got from you and I, like the reason why there's not like you know I have a million subscribers but there's not like a million people watching the thing it's like it, I'm not a streamer so like people like pop in out of curiosity and fucking leave what else do we have here kind of I have like another bunch of these somewhere but these are the ones that I have in like the phone notepad we got the 4chan butterbutt definitely another one for a short where it's like a uh, fucking um a guy put a stick of butter in his butt and documented his experiences with the butter in his butt. <laughs> Ron Cheeseman with 499. Have you done a video of Tom Green live getting trolled by 4chan? A lot of the recordings of that stuff has been lost. That's something I actually I spoke about this briefly in the Know Your Meme interview, but um <laughs> It's definitely, that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I even got started on it, but there's specific clips that I wanted for it that I, um, I, I like, uh, so the, the one specific one that stands out to me was, um, it was the first time I had ever heard a person say the word memes out loud. And Tom Green goes, cause like, you know, they would spam his chat during his live show with like, do a barrel roll and shit like that. And he said, they're trying to get me to say memes. I remember that particular clip, that one is just gone. So every time I would try to work on the Tom Green Raids video, I would look for that clip and just get disheartened by it not being there. But there's also, like, I feel like there's like not enough left of that to really do a whole video on. What I might do in that regard, when I eventually get around to doing a Hal Turner video, I might wind up bringing up the Tom Green situation in there because it's such a similar type of deal around the same time period. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do, like, a full Tom Green Raids video. Any chance of doing... Krona, with the two. Any chance of doing a video on Katawa Shoujo? I don't remember what that is. I, remember, I know the name, don't remember what that is. Let me look it up now. Oh, it's just like, oh, it's oh, it's the dating game with like the disabled chicks. I feel like I don't know. I feel like there's not really much to do with like a video on that. I'll play through at some point maybe, but like once again, it's like any kind of text-based game. I really don't want to do a stream on because then it's like you gotta fucking sit and read it, and I don't want to do that. What was Dylan Nelson with the two? What was the other MTV commercial I can't find? I don't know what the first MTV commercial I can't find is. Woo! I'm not sure what you're making reference to here. Ultimatum VV, thanks for the five. Will I ever be able to make a video about the Sabine Shitomitovic tape? It's an alleged laws video about a giant spider cryptid and an adult actress. I haven't heard of this, but it sounds like it could be interesting. KQ with the five. Does my family know I talk about human seed for a living? Yeah, actually. What's weird, like they don't watch it, but like some of their friends watch it, so they're like they're like aware of it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna like end the stream soon. Um, Adam Kostuk with the five. Been here since about 15k. Always knew you'd blow up. Congrats on 1 million. Thanks. I appreciate that. Anyway, also, something I noticed, so, like, now, since the last time I streamed, YouTube, like, added a thing where you can kind of, like, you could send it to, like, a premiere or fucking something else, but you can't actually just send people to any other fucking video after it, so it's not, like... It sucks, because, like, it, it's almost like you could do, like, a raid type of thing, but it's, like, not exactly what it could have been, you know? 
Let me just make sure, like, this isn't gonna, like, publish to everyone's fucking feed and send out a notification when it's done. Got how to... Alright, cool, I already set that. Um... Dylan Nelson. Oh, shit! Oh, thanks for two again. I know exactly what you're talking about. Sorry, G G4 TV commercial. Okay, Mr. Ex There's uh, this fucking commercial on G4 TV that it drives me crazy. I always try to fucking find it. And it's like, I used to, they used to play it constantly. It was, um, it used to come on during X-Play, Attack is Show, fucking everything. I think it might have been a local New York commercial, though. But it was like, it was something about just getting a better job or something. And they had, there was this, this, um, this clip of this guy singing in office arguing with his boss and the guy's like talking about how he's gonna like make a living for himself and the boss says okay mr entrepreneur <laughs> yo mr entrepreneur oh my god i would what a, i would love to see that fucking commercial again man is that one and the other one i think of is a much older commercial where th i believe this was also a local new york commercial they used to play during wrestling a lot and it was this guy arguing with his fucking wife. And the wife goes, You're nothing but a loser! That one I remember from fucking... Ugh. You have no idea how much I would love to see either of those commercials again. The fucking... It's the entrepreneur. Oh, you're nothing but a loser! Fuck. I remember, like, the wife had, like, fucking, like, rollers in her hair. She's kind of fat and she's wearing a moo moo. And the guy has got his fucking schlubby wife beater on. Balding. Fuck. Like, they... They gotta exist somewhere. Like, I definitely... The the nothing but a loser one. I definitely had on, like, a VHS tape when I was a kid. For, like, just, like, taping wrestling off the of TV. Mad Mark, thanks you for the... Thanks for the 20. Congrats on the 1 million. I appreciate that. Legato Modi, the 5. Have I ever seen Meryl the Chef from back in the day? Was that, like, the, um... Was was that the like the very special guy with the public access show? And he's like, and he's like, mm, like that fucking guy, kind of like the chunky, chunky very special guy. Is that Meryl the Chef? Because if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, I have seen him. And he has like he's like he has like this blue background I think in his videos. Yeah, that's the that's the guy. Hell yeah. Alright guys, I think I went through like most of the list. There's a few I dimensions so I was like, ah, oh, this is like not that interesting anymore. But um Yeah. Pigeon. Thanks for the 499. It's been a slow work day, so a wang stream is always a relief. Yeah, I appreciate that. But yeah. Fuck, now that like those I'm gonna be thinking about those commercials now. But anyway guys, I think this is where I'm gonna end the stream. Hopefully, I do more of these soon. Um, should be. I have like a, like so many like indie games I picked up specifically to stream, and then they just you know, I just like didn't get around to doing any streams. But they should be getting around to doing some of them soon. Thanks for hanging out with me in the afternoon. Oh, that that was the old. All right, cool. I was like, I don't want to like leave. Just that happens. But thanks for hanging out. I'll be out. Peace out.